Yo, what is going on, y'all? I'm Cavell Anderson, and we are back with another VV Anycomi video. In this one, Dan actually goes over a digital black hole that's going to be in the VV verse. He also goes over some upgrades that's taking place on the VV app and so much more. So we're going to be checking this out. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your favorite part down below in the comment section. Be sure to drop that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and turn on notifications so you stay updated with everything going on. And yeah, let's jump straight into it, y'all. Hopefully yeah, and also just, to, just to add to that, you know, we haven't announced our sports category yet. So uh, that obviously, as we, uh, you know, communicated previously, we do uh, one of the verticals that uh, we will be releasing collectibles for is sports. Uh, and we do have a number of things in the works at the moment. So I will say that it's obvious that they have NFLPA, by the way. Um, I know a lot of people are questioning it. There's a lot of things like anytime, anytime something gets pushed back when it comes down to Ecomi, everyone starts saying, oh, maybe they don't have it. Maybe this, maybe that. At this point in time, they have proven themselves time and time again. They have proven if you've seen certain things on documents, they have this stuff already. Because at first it was Marvel we were seeing leaked everywhere and now it's 100% confirmed. We know that they had Marvel the whole time that we were saying that all this stuff points to them having Marvel. So a lot of this evidence and stuff we have found, a lot of the stuff we have seen, um, you got to trust yourself. If you weren't here doing, in the community during that time, then I mean, yeah, you you wouldn't necessarily know, but the people who were should know at this point. I don't know how many times Ikomi has to continue proving people wrong. Like how many times do, do, do you have to be proven wrong in order in, until you believe, like the facts, believe what you actually see? We see, we've seen figures. We've seen some collectibles from the NFL already, the NFL PA. So um, I don't know why anyone would even doubt that, that that's a thing that other licensors will have the same license and have other types of NFT. So VV, VV has what it has exclusively, but other licenses will be out there. Just saying. But yeah, anyway, let's jump into it. Let's keep going. So, um, yeah, just, just keep that in mind that, uh, you know, right now we're really focusing on the evergreen uh, pop culture kind of um, collectible. Obviously, you know, people have seen that we've announced other categories like um, vehicles with, with general motors. Um, so yeah, just, just stay tuned. Yeah, perfect. I think uh, I think most people have have come to trust the way that we do things and release things these days. So hopefully that uh, continues into the future. Cool. Now, David, you speaking of which earlier, uh, I, I think you made some comments on the hairline the possibility of comics degrading over time, or if they were red or or something like that. To my knowledge, that is not a feature we're going for, but maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, that was something we were discussing internally. It definitely hasn't been finalized. I mean, you know, we're always looking at different options uh, to, you know, to improve or, or in this case, <laughs> uh, uh, degrade the, the, the product. But uh... I think that this is this needs to be like debated. It needs to be debated amongst like collectors, like collectors, like real collectors. I want to see uh, true collectors from both sides, like somebody, like two people who are actually real diehard collectors and one, two people who's genuinely just sees it two different ways, because I think that that will have the best conversations when it comes down to if this should or should not be a thing in VV, because ultimately it, it makes sense in terms of making, making them more valuable and inc increasing the scarcity. I mean, if you're just going to put them in a digital black hole, you might as well let them degrade, but um that's just my thoughts on it and it, then it sticks true from the outside looking in of the collectibles world it sticks to the the true spirit of collecting so most people buy by two you buy the copy that you don't want to touch and then you buy the copy to read it, it's i mean the, the same spirit should, should just be there that that should be in my opinion so i mean <laughs> Yeah, I think that a debate, it would be a really good debate to have between two actual collectors. Uh, I mean, it's, uh, you know, it's nothing that we have have locked in. I think David was just more like talking about it as it was something that we uh, had been looking at internally. Um, so, yeah, nothing. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, number one, don't freak out. You know? <laughs> it hasn't been announced on the blog or anything. So take a step back, maybe don't meditate for a bit, have a few breaks. <laughs> And um, yeah, don't worry about, don't worry about it. Yeah, sound advice, sound advice. Just, um, just on that, David did mention in the the video he did yesterday with Net NFT Oz, and I think you've alluded to this before, Dan, as another example. You know, maybe in the VV burst, there's a a digital black hole of sorts where people can potentially burn some of their collectibles to 
to increase that scarcity. So really all we're looking at with these kind of ideas or features is, is other ways to add texture to that collectibles market. Is that pretty fair to say? Yeah, absolutely. Um, and, and, you know, the, the digital black hole is still just something conceptual at this stage. Um, but, you know, when we have collectibles that do have high, high number of commons, um, you know, we want to look at mechanisms that will allow the, the, the fans to do something with them. Uh, you know, whether that's a digital black hole or, you know, maybe at some point in the future you could, I don't know, burn four commons for uh, something else. Um, mm -hmm. You know, we Yo, I just noticed in the background, like this completely unrelated, but in the background here, Spider-Man 3 is actually trending right now. That's interesting. That's interesting. It sounds like somebody's NFTs is about to go up in value. Hey, I mean, I'm excited about this. I'm just saying. Anyway. Always, always looking at these ideas sort of into the future. Yeah, perfect, perfect. I think that, um, I think most people understand that anyway, and, and we'll continue to look for really ways to make it more fun, to create more options with your collectibles. So we'll stay on that. Now, there have been a few app updates in the last week. I think a backend update went out and obviously we did have a small outage yesterday. Do you want to just maybe bring up some of those updates and, and let people know where we are at? Yeah, so apologies to everyone for the market outage yesterday. Uh, it was just a server, a service in the back end which got, got maxed out. Um, but it was all, all results uh, in the end. Um, and, and I guess to just a, a, um, uh, you know, PSA, uh, if your collectibles don't sell immediately, don't stress out and, you know, lower the price by 50% because if, if you do that, you, you know, you're unfortunately, you're the only one that, that's going to lose out. So, uh, but yes, we, we do apologize for the outage on our side. We try to get it resolved as, as fast as we can. Uh, now, on the app update side, um, we do have a release going out, I believe it's later today or tomorrow, with quite a few updates in it, which I just want to cover off. Uh, so the number one is that in your collection screen, we have now merged your collectibles and your comics. So when you're on, the on your collection screen, you won't need to use that switch bar at the top anymore and comics that you own will just simply show as another row uh on your collection so it's much easier you know way to uh way to do it okay. uh number two <clears throat> is the floor price for each collectible or comic can now be seen when you are viewing um a, a collectible either one that you own or or one in the market so you don't always have to go you know into the market and find, find out what it is Okay, so that's huge. That's huge. So now you can get better opportunities. You can get more information when you're making an investment and you're trying to go for something, trying to snipe something good, a good deal. You you can you can get a little bit more information and maybe do it a little bit faster. As a because a lot of stuff it, it's like I've been actually flipping a little bit more lately, and it's it is kind of a frustrating process having to go back and forth, go into things, and and it, it's just it's very it's a very um very annoying process right now. So hopefully this fixes that. Um, in addition to that, on a collectible that you own, um, we've also added in the button that says there are X available in the market. So you can go, basically you can go straight to the market for that collectible from, uh, from the, the, the view. Uh, we've also added back in the last price paid. <clears throat> so now when you're viewing a collectible that you own, uh, you will be able to see, you know, number one, how many are in the market. You'll be able to see the floor price and you'll be able to see the, the price you paid for it. See, now this is huge. I love this because I sometimes forget what I actually paid for certain collectibles. So you don't know if you're, you're, you're actually making a profit sometimes, especially like, especially if you can't find, like you can find it, but you going through that history is really, really annoying. But I mean, it's just something that you got to do. And then while you're doing that, if it's an opportunity that's just like a quick one, it's just you, you, by the time you actually find out what you pay so you can price accordingly, it's just the opportunity is not even there anymore. So, um, yeah, this is going to be huge because it will allow flipping to be done a lot quicker. So um, I, I like this. I like this aspect of it. So hopefully that should, um, yeah, just make things a little bit easier for, for our fans. Perfect. Uh, the buy now button uh, not showing that was affecting a small number of users has been resolved. Um, 
Uh, what else have I got here? Oh yeah, the, on the in the store on the drop screen, uh, some of the the dates were a little bit off in terms of the when the actual content dropped. So they have all been updated. Uh, uh, a suggestion from one of our community members was to when you are transferring a collectible from one user to another user, <clears throat> to show the from you know who it's from. Uh, so you know, Reese, feel free to send me whatever valuable collectible you've got. <laughs> I will say it's coming from from whatever your username is. Yes, feel free uh, to do the same. Yeah, yeah, okay, no worries. <laughs> I can do that. <laughs> uh, next up, we have in your when you're viewing your my collectible screen, uh, there was an issue where the you know the brand tag across the top were being limited. So that's now been fixed up. So you can see all of the all the tags at the top there. Just makes it much easier to sort of filter your <clears throat> your collectibles. Uh, and also, as many of you are probably aware, notification refactor got rolled out yesterday. Annoying. Annoying. The most annoying thing Vivi has done yet. And then when I un when I unfollow the things that I was following, the NFTs or whatever that I was following and wanted to be notified about, it continues to send notifications. Like it's that that's annoying. Uh, there were there was a, an issue with one of the one of the notifications. Uh, so apologies to anyone who got bombarded, including myself, uh, with with collectible. Uh, sorry, with notifications. Um, I have actually asked the team just to disable that, and they're working on the on the fix, which I believe is going out today. Uh, mm -hmm. And then that's out. Basically, all notifications will be back in the app. So if someone comments on a feed post or uh, you know, anything to do with the market, notifications for drop, all of those notifications are coming back into the system. So that's gonna be uh, very, very helpful. Uh, so I'm looking forward to getting that one out. You should, you, they, they should, what they should do is they should have settings. They should make settings so the user can choose which notifications that you get notified about. Because that, that was the problem. Like when I was getting bomba bombarded with these freaking, um, notifications i wanted to cut off the notifications but then i'm like yo what if what if a bid happens what if i get a notification that's not one of these spam notifications what if i get an actual important notification so if you can kind of differentiate that where you could just turn off um somebody listing something and stuff like that 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 would be that would be amazing then you would actually just be able to have the notifications on that you feel are valuable to you so yeah that's just my thought yeah super helpful uh -huh. Yeah, and then just to just so people know what we are working on now uh, for the next release um, is that we have we're making some updates uh, to the way collectibles are listed in the market. So now, <coughs> when you click on a let's say for example you go into market, you click on collectibles, you'll then see all the individual collectible cards with the number of the number that are that are available for sale. And when you click on that, it will now no longer show each individual collectible card. We've actually uh, consolidated it all into a, uh, a much more tidy vertical list, given that there's just so much content in the market now. Uh, and then there's some additional filtering options in there. So uh, there should be a, a much easier way for users to sort of browse through uh, the collectibles and, and the comments that we have when when, there, when there's a, a high number of them. So I think that's gonna make things a bit easier. Definitely. Uh, yep, we are also working on uh, just a revision to the whole sort of ma uh, market comment flow, uh, which again is gonna make it significantly easier now that we're starting to get a lot more comments in there. And to be honest, even I find the comment screen a bit annoying at the moment. So uh, hopefully in the next sort of one to two weeks, we're gonna roll that out. Uh, and it will basically group all of the comics um, you know by the by the common cover and then when you tap on one of the comics it will then show you all of the rarities or the or the cover variants for that comic and then when you click on one of those rarities uh, uh again it will show you just a nice vertical list of of the comics you want so that's that's just going to make things a lot easier uh to sort of navigate through the through the comics section uh, and then the last one to bring up uh is in the same way that we've merged uh comics into the collection screen <clears throat> we are also merging comics into the main store screen and one of and what a part of that update also includes uh 
<clears throat> when a comment is dropping, it will also show in the coming soon section in the same the collectible series show now. So again, just going to make make it a lot easier for people to find the comics directly on the store landing page uh, without having to use that damn annoying switcher bar, which everyone hates. Mm. <laughs> yeah. It was a great idea. It was a great idea. It just well, it was, yeah, it, was, yeah. it was necessary at the time, but um, I think the the UI, the UI just needs a, a whole overhaul. Like the UI, there was one circulating some months ago, like like around March or maybe April, something around there. There was like this 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 one done by some random some random fan, and it looked amazing. Like we need some type of overhaul and. Yeah, it would be it was something that that it could it could make the whole thing just look better, and it would actually make sense if the the aesthetics was just focused on a little bit more, like as as a whole. Like hopefully, hopefully that makes sense. Yeah, it's kind of late right now. I haven't been asleep, so yeah, it'd be like that. Yeah. You know, I, I think most of our OGs know that we you know we we always we always evolve and improve, uh, especially when we get great feedback. Yeah, uh, absolutely. So yeah, we've obviously got a lot of other stuff going on, but that's the main. Um, uh, the main sort of updates for the for the next uh, app release, but yeah, keep an eye out today. Um, I, I think we're gonna we're gonna post on uh, sorry we're gonna tweet the app updates when the new app has been released to the app stores. Um, so yeah, definitely grab that one because it's got a lot of good good stuff in it. I think. Uh, am I right that we're releasing some more detailed notes <clears throat> in the actual app store with with each update now as well, so people can kind of find that information there. Yes. And now that yeah. the now that we're getting more uh you know more updates out there and obviously we've got a few more people in the company now. So rather than just saying bug fixes and updates, uh, <laughs> it needs to be um a little bit more detailed so you kind of know what uh what new features have been rolled out. I'm actually curious how big the company is now because Trevor said like Trevor actually tweeted out that the company is now bigger than a lot of triple a gaming studios i think i thought i think that that's what he said I, um i might not be verbatim but i think that's what he said so i'm interested in knowing how big this team is now and like it, it, it it's just fascinating to realize how quick they're growing but that's pretty much it we're going to end it here let me know what you all think in the comment section down below about this um i think this is going to be huge like i said they're, they're, this is going to help a lot of people who just want to make flips and this is going to help people who want to actually just collect as well so and i'm kind of in the middle right now i've been practicing and learning how to flip some content on that coming soon and um yeah I'm, i still have my collection as well so yeah um that's pretty much it y'all let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below um be sure to drop that thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you're new and turn on notifications so you stay updated with everything going on and yeah i'll catch you all on the next one peace out joe